Good morning, everybody. I'm back. <laughs> All right. It's Friday morning. We're, we're raring to go. We've had a pot of coffee. Yeah. And first of all, Mike and I, you know, we have a thing about our T-shirts. So we had some more custom. We've got a new one. Yep. Okay. So I'll okay, let, let me Mike... try to get positioned in the camera here. Okay. Just like that. There it says, we go. I had to choose between Jesus Christ or the governing body. I chose Christ, and now I'm the mentally diseased apostate. I'm in their Pope finery. All in Pope suits. Okay. We, I'm wearing it with pride. Yeah. So, first of all, we've got some doozies here. But, you know, folks, I've reached the age where I've learned a thing or two, and I have talked to my doctor, and he says I've got the blood pressure of a 20-year-old and that it is perfectly safe for me to participate in apostate activities. All right. So here we go. <laughs> so Clean bill of health. To go. <laughs> You've been watching too many. Too many commercials. Yeah, ED commercials. <laughs> okay. So we have a doozy this morning. This it is. Kind of goes back to the whole shunning thing. Yeah, I know we do a lot on the shunning, but, but this is new light for yeah. you XJWs or you current JWs that don't know your own history. Or the stuff that Watchtower has printed. And it, and it also shows, I'm going to go to a scripture that's going to show that if anybody had any ecclesiastical authority to disfellowship somebody, it would have been the Apostle Paul. Oh, yeah. But here's a scripture that Watchtower or even your elders in the congregation setting will never, ever refer to. Of course. So, so let's get to this Watchtower so first because anyway, this, is, this is good. This is a good one. And uh, I was looking through it uh, through this same article for something else that we will be doing for another video. We, our our list is growing yeah. daily, and we want to thank all you viewers who are sending in you know a lot of this information. Um, but anyway, I came across this one though when I was looking at another article, and I guess you would call this old light. Yeah, this is old light. That is actually new, new light. light. <laughs> Figure that one out. See, we can be just as confusing as Watchtower. Oh, yeah. Well, when you read this, you might see how confusing it is. Okay. So I'm going to put here in the subtitle. Yeah. yeah. It is from the 1957 Watchtower, um, May 1st, pages 274 to 276. And the name of the article is Show Respect for Jehovah's Organization. And This is on, this is actually paragraph 9. Um, that we're quoting from. Okay, so about halfway down paragraph 9, it says, This is the theocratic order that Jesus began among his disciples and that he demonstrated must be maintained regardless of individuals. He, Don't start laughing. He demonstrated this, people. He demonstrated this himself. <laughs> You're going to get me to laugh. I know. <laughs> and I can't read and laugh. Well, it just shows you how much Watchtower is grasping at straws. It really does. Even back in 1957. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, you know, okay. They were trying to reach for the brass ring, but I think they were grasping for a copper ring. Who, who knows? Or maybe a marshmallow one? Maybe a marshmallow one, yeah. <laughs> okay, so serious here. Okay, his determination to keep the organization... What, 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 the or the, there was no organization back then. All it was was him and... Twelve disciples. How could that be an organization? It was just getting started, people. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So his determination to keep the organization clean and devoted to right principles was manifested in this action. <laughs> he took... Okay. In disfellowshipping... Okay. In one. action, he took in disfellowshipping one of the original twelve apostles. Let me read that again was manifested in the action he took in disfellowshipping one of the original 12 apostles. I don't remember reading anywhere in the 20 translations of Bibles that we, we have. Got it. He disfellowshipped Judas. All he did was dismiss him. He did not yeah. disfellowship him. He it dismissed is, him. It is very clear then that one's position in God's organization is no safeguard, and this fact positively rules out the many false claims made by the spiritually adulterous and wicked leaders of the illegitimate daughter organizations of Christendom. You other religions, you hear that? This is how Watchtower talks about you. Yeah, you're 
adulterous and wicked leaders of the illegitimate daughter organizations of Christendom. I've got another video that I'm working on that's going to put Watchtower in the same category as all of these daughters. Yeah. Our Christendom. personal opinion is they are one of the daughters also. Yeah. Okay. They are outside God's organization and there is no light in them at all. I'm sorry. I've seen there is a lot of good people and there is good things yeah. in every religion. I don't care what Watchtower says. You know, we've got some friends that run a small family church over in Texas, a very dear family. And, you know, they live good, strong Bible uh, morals. That and their they life are is full truly of. trying to teach, you know, God's word. So, you know, how. You know, they can say there's no light in them at all. It just shows how arrogant they are. Okay, enough of that okay. one. All right, now, <laughs> if you've got your New World Translations handy, go to 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 14. This is a good one. I, I'll read it to you. Now, this is Paul writing to Timothy, and we all recognize this. So Paul says this to Timothy, Alexander the coppersmith did me many injuries. Jehovah will repay him according to his deeds. And you too, be on guard against him. For he resisted our words to an excessive degree. In that scripture, you tell me who the Apostle Paul called for Alexander the coppersmith's disfellowshipping. Well, he didn't, he didn't. even ask the congregation to shun them. All no. he said is be on guard be on against guard. him. Be on guard. But when you read that, you look and see... Apostle Paul says that he caused me many injuries. He resisted our word to an excessive degree. Isn't that what apostates do? Do we not resist Watchtower to an excessive degree? But yet you disfellowship us. If anybody had any ecclesiastical authority to, re to call for a disfellowshipping of anybody, it would have been Alexander the coppersmith. But just so that we are clear... Um, the Apostle Paul did not say, Jehovah will we pay him. I got my new Hallelujah Scriptures. And we want to thank the viewer that suggests... Brown Eyes. Yeah. Was it Brown Eyes? Brown Eyes. Okay, thank you, Brown Eyes, for suggesting we do like this translation. It was a little difficult it's, getting used to with is, all the Jewish words. Yeah, it's difficult. I have, words. I have to keep going back to the back to find out what certain words <laughs> actually mean, but I, I am learning. But we do really like this translation because they do seem to get the thought across and go back to Hope. the original manuscripts without any religious agenda in them. Yes, exactly. But um, reading this from the Hallelujah Scriptures, 2 Timothy 4, verse... Um, oh, I guess this makes 21 translations. Yeah, now. 21, yeah. <laughs> um, Sorry, did I make you lose your place? Yeah, actually, I did lose... Okay, verse 14, he says... Alexandrios, the coppersmith, did uh, many evils to me. The Adon shall repay him according to his works. You too beware of him, for he strongly opposed our words. Again, even in these this Hallelujah Scriptures, never called for the disfellowshipping. But I wanted to focus on the word, the Adon. It's A-D-O-N. In the back, when you go and find out what that word means, it says, the Master. That refers to Christ, not Jehovah. It's Christ. I cross-referenced that again with the um, Greek scriptures, the, the kit. And it says uh, Kyrios, not Theos, Kyrios. So again, Christ. Christ. It's another example of where the New World Translation has mistranslated scripture to suit their agenda. So, I asked the Watchtower, if the Apostle Paul did not call for the disfellowshipping of Alexander the coppersmith, then what in pray tell thinks you have the authority to do it also? You don't. You mm. just don't have it. All right. Well, you all have, have a great a day. day. And we'll try to get our list, a lot on our list done for videos. So you all have a great weekend. Bye.